the sweep. How, how big is that going into this last uh, final series? Oh, huge. I mean, uh, we're still a game up on DBU, and uh, staying that way was big for us. And there's a focal point around this weekend, and we came out, did our job this week. So, so. How would you rate the way the uh, the bullpen, I mean, kind of came together today? Pretty, a couple nice innings there. Oh, I know. It was just huge with Schwab stepping up. Uh, <clears throat> it was that yesterday? And uh, locked in the same thing on short, short notice. So, um, I mean, guys are stepping up. That's been the, pretty much the moral this year. So it's been great for us. Heating up with the weather. I mean, the, you guys are hitting the ball really hard this weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's what led into that, and how confident are you going into this last series? Um, I think just based off on our approach um, is how, where that starts. And uh, Lawson just setting an approach every week uh, based off of the pitcher that we see and tendencies that he has. So uh, I think that's kind of where it starts. But uh, overall, I mean, the wind's blowing out this weekend. Uh, we're really confident in our swings, and we put some good ones together. You know, we talked to you after the Kansas game. You guys are kind of flat, and I mean, you guys haven't lost since. What have you seen change, change in the team? Honestly, just the pep in our step from the start to finish. It's pretty much been it. I mean, other than that, I'm just going about our business every day, taking care of business, getting the weights, and uh, it's getting better each and every week. Do you anything different to get that pep in your step, or is it just that one night that you just needed to kind of told? Kind of sparked a fire under us a little bit, and I think that, that one, like you said, needed that one night, and uh, we had that game, and from there it's turned around. So hopefully we keep it rolling. Tournament. Can't really ask for a uh, bigger, you know, uh, motivator as a player. Mm -hmm. One series for the conference championship. I mean, how exciting is that? Just, just as an individual, have with this challenge going on the road. Yeah, I mean, it's super exciting. Uh, to win back to back would be something else. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely ready for this weekend. Pumped. So. And I know you guys consider yourselves good enough to be in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like um, you can do in these last, this last week and a half? Aside from winning the dang tournament, mm -hmm. you know what? What can you do to kind of show everybody you're one of the you know best um, teams around? Kind of like Jeremy said, we've kind of been underrated all year, and I think that uh, I mean something we can do is just what we've been doing, we're just doing our thing, being ourselves, and uh, sticking to our roles is pretty much where it starts. Have you you say underrated? I don't know if it's something that you feel when guys like Jake and Justin leave. Does that part play into it? Was some disrespect maybe? Just oh no, 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 no disrespect okay. or anything like that. Uh, Underrated as in like you kind of look at our lineup up and down and like stat wise and you don't really see big numbers pop at you. But um, I was talking to one of the Carbonell guys after the game and said, you guys just know how to win. And uh, that's something that our lineup, we're, we're all grinders. I mean, we, we scratch runs across and we, uh, we ultimately know how to win. And that starts with being around a winning culture from the start. And that was last year's guys. So. Great. Yeah. Cool. So we pour ourselves some drinks and we kind of have a little toast before every game. and. It's the boys going. That's about it, really. Yeah. yeah. How would you uh, assess the way the offense uh, kind of came around this weekend? Put up a ton of runs, a lot of homers. Um, I mean, I think it's kind of been a long time coming. We've been, we've been really working on our approach and our um, just having good at bats. And it helps, you know, we're at home, have a full week of practice. Um, we're able to get in our indoor before the game and get our work in. And uh, I mean, really, I think it was just. It warmed up, the wind was blowing out, we had a little confidence, you know, we were just trying to have some fun and stuff started clicking and it's just, it was really fun to be a part of, for sure. And now looking ahead to this, this Dallas Baptist series, I mean, it's for the conference title. How yeah. exciting is that as a player? You know, when it comes down to Yeah, it's three. exciting for sure. We're all, we're all pumped up. I mean, it's a big weekend, but we've been, we've been expecting, you know, we've been, we've been having close weekends all year. So, I mean, it's just another, you know, it's just another weekend in the Valley. It's going to be tough, it's going to be tight, but, you know, we play like we can play. There's nothing stopping us. You ever hit one up there? Uh, never in a game before, no. A couple times in batting practice, but yeah, definitely felt definitely felt good off the bat, that's for sure. <laughs> and what I mean, we I brought up the toast of, before the game. What big you're the one toasting breaking it out every time. Yeah. How'd you step up and be able to do that? Was it a vote or how was no, you? I mean, I don't know. It just kind of happened, I guess, uh, last year, and you know, Aaron Meyer did it the past few years actually, and uh, I'd always kind of help him come up with the toast for the day, and so I just kind of. Kind of joined that role, I guess you could say. It's been fun. It's been good. It's different every day. Or yeah, it's, a, it's different every day. It's it's fun. But yeah. What do you mean, like different? Like, come up with? It's, it's just uh, <laughs> it's just different every day. It's good. All right. <laughs> Looking good. All right. At bat, you just had to put one more over the scoreboard? Uh, yeah, I mean, just uh, up there trying to square a ball up and just having to get under a little bit and went out. That's it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> couldn't ask much more than that. Uh, with the way you guys hit this weekend, how, how confident is the lineup going down in this huge series? Uh, I mean, the confident. I mean, the lineup's very confident. Uh, starting to heat up the weather-wise, and going down to Texas is going to be warm. 
Uh, everyone's, I mean, really confident going in. We all had good weekends, uh, seeing the ball very well, and it's going to be the come down to the conference championship down there this weekend. So. And you guys have probably looked at this series for a while, knowing this would decide the conference. Yeah. I mean, how how big is this series? I mean, it's I mean, it's whoever wins two out of three down there. So I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be scrappy and it's gonna be a war down there. So all excited to get down there. Is, is that, uh, how would you describe the, the kind of rivalry? You guys aren't close geographically, but you're all, you always seem to be one, two up here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're both kind of contending in the end every year. So, I mean, it's, I mean, it is a rivalry every year. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's something we all look forward to every year to get that series in and see who comes out on top. As this season is kind of wound down to this point, I mean, how much are you just kind of taking everything in? trying to get another conference title and then another trip back to the NCAA. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean that's the that's the end goal is right now win the regular season conference and then win the, win the tournament and go to regionals and hopefully get back to where we were last year, if not farther. Personally, though, I mean, how much how much are you, uh, you know, being a little nostalgic a little bit? I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were a freshman and, you know, just trying to crack the lineup. I mean, yeah. Just kind of reflect on how far you've come in just three years. Yeah, I mean, this three years have flown by. I mean, it, it feels like just yesterday we're moving into the dorms and real nervous about the first day of practice and everything. But I mean, it's a it's a real experience uh, being down here, being a part of this tradition. And I mean, I can thank everyone more. I mean, just give me the opportunity to come down here and play for three years. Take me back uh, six games ago. You guys, or I guess one before, you guys had Kansas and just kind of a flat performance. And yeah. It, what what's changed these? Two? I haven't lost since. Yeah, uh, I mean, that kind of, we had a talk after the game. We had a long talk with, with G and the coach and everything, and it kind of kicked us into gear. I mean, we are kind of, we are really flat that day, no energy, nothing, and we kind of knew we have, what was it, like nine nine games left, and we really had to, we had to finish strong there. So that's what we came out to do, just as much energy we could possibly play with and lay it all on the line. It seems Whetstone was one of the guys that stepped up and said something. Is he one of the guys, uh, I guess to us, so he wouldn't have been one of the leaders with you with Millis, but yeah. is he one of the ones that you guys yeah, had a feeling? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's definitely a vocal guy and someone we look for, look, look towards in uh, moments like that and any other time, and tough times, and uh, he's a good guy for us. He seems like he's been pretty hot the past few yeah, weeks, yeah. too. How nice is that? I guess behind you and in the order. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's hot, seeing the ball very well, him and Millis behind me, so I mean, it's been good. And what's he say over here when he leads you guys out? Is that is that appropriate uh, for us? Or? That's, that's not really appropriate right now. <laughs> <laughs> How would you compare uh, this team, top to bottom in the lineup, to uh, the last last couple years? Uh, I mean, uh, we have a really good lineup this year. We're a little bit underrated, I feel like, but uh, I think we're really coming in our own here in the, in the final stretch here, and I think we're going to really show some people what we're about in the end here. You like being underrated? It doesn't seem like something that's been in this lineup for yeah. years and years. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean, we come out with a chip on our shoulder today, so it's good. How does, it, uh, how does that feel to wrap it up here with a sweep? I mean, I, as a team, that that's great. That's what you want to go for. Uh, personally, that was that was pretty pretty awesome for me. Kind of took a second afterwards just to take it in because had a frustrating year and got to end it on a great note at home uh, in front of my mom on Mother's Day. So it's all good. So. <laughs> what's the what's the focus this week? I mean, biggest series of the season. Oh yeah. Your your final regular season Man, series. Man, honestly, like you wouldn't you wouldn't want anything else. But to go down to DBU and then beat them to win on their own field and dogpile on their field, so uh, we got to take care of business. They, I think they won again today, so we got to win two or three at least and go down and try and sweep just like any other weekend. But it'll be bittersweet if we can get it done on their field. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, all, it's going to take two to clinch it outright. Yeah. Um, you guys haven't dropped a series in conference in two years. I mean, how confident are you guys going back down there? I mean, you got to have full confidence, obviously. Uh, Pitchers just got to keep doing what we're doing. Hitters are coming around. It was a great weekend for the hitters. Uh, confidence at an all-time high right now, I, I would uh, assume. So uh, just take care of business just like we normally do. So. You said it's been a frustrating year for you, but, I mean, how how important is this next week and a half with the tournament this last series and yeah. wanting to go out as, as oh, strong yeah. as possible? No, I mean, if I could if I could get two rings and, and win another championship, that would be pretty sweet. A couple of my buddies that left last year got to do that, so... I would, uh, I would appreciate that, but honestly, I'm just happy for the young guys that get to experience all this. And I mean, we're, we're rolling through the valley right now, so we've got to keep our heads up and just keep rolling. And I know you guys think you're a tournament team. What, what's it going to take to prove that, aside from winning the tournament? I mean, it's, it's all up to them, honestly. We just got to go and take care of business. Uh, I mean, if 
we go and sweep, I don't think there's any any way they can uh, not let us in there. But it's just just like every other game, you got to go and win it. So. Yeah. How differently do you feel personally right now? Uh, I mean, compared to last year, you're throwing oh, yeah. a lot of innings. Yeah. And it's it's a little different uh, for sure. It's, it's there's times of games where I would have been in last year and I'm not getting in, and it's not he won't trust me and everything. It's just. It's a tough battle and an injury and stuff, but I'm glad that he gave me an opportunity today and uh, that he trusted me to go out and do my job, and I'm, I'm glad I did it for sure. It's a relief. So. Good. Yeah.